What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer. As you can see, we're out here with the new JJRC H50, I believe the name is. And it just got done raining out here. So I figured this is my window. Can't miss my chance to get out here and get this thing to fly. Check it out. I don't have another phone, unfortunately, to test the Wi-Fi FPV features. I wish that these companies would stop with the Wi-Fi FPV and just come with 5.8 gigahertz FPV with all the benefits and all and the Wi-Fi FPV actually interferes with the control of the um, the actual aircraft because the 2.4 gigahertz um, signal is almost the same. It doesn't play nice with the Wi-Fi FPV. So anyhow, I took the camera off it remove the camera so we can check out the other features and everything and uh, so we'll, we'll test the headless mode let's see yes it has headless mode it has a weird dial on here that seems like it changes the speed I'm guessing that probably limits the throttle or whatnot or increases it so we'll check that out and see I'm thinking that maybe for beginners you should be able to turn this down and then it'll limit the throttle and won't let this thing just blast off into the atmosphere if you don't know what you're doing with it. But then again, this is an altitude hold quad tool. Very confused about what that is, but we're going to find out in a second. And this button here says function switch over. <laughs> so we're definitely going to try that and see what that does too. But as far as I know, this button here is the speed button. And you know to change the rates and all and this should be the flip button so let's fire this thing up and see how it flies both sticks in I'm gonna try and that started the props to spin and we're up in the air with it altitude hold seems to work really nice I can tell by how jerky the stop is it stops immediately once you let your hand off of the sticks so that's it there, the altitude hold. It's drifting a little, but there's no GPS, just altitude hold. It's doing a really nice job at holding its height there. We're on low rates. So let's see. This is the yaw. Pretty decent yaw. Side aileron. Seems to be nice. Look at the pitch. We're still on low rates, I believe, unless that dial. It never fails. These guys always pull out <laughs> when I'm out here. But anyhow, forward pitch seems to be nice. I think I'm on low rates, but this dial could be affecting it. I'm not sure, but let's try. Press the button again. It seems like I pressed the button that's supposed to be the speed button, and it seems to be going down. Bring it back up. Have a car here coming by. Okay, let's press this button again and see what happens. Okay, this button just turns the lights off. So, let's see what this button up here does. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing that's the flip button there. Yep. So, it looks like it does nice flips. It's gaining altitude now. Okay, so it lowers itself back down to the original height. That's pretty awesome. Let's see, pretty cool on that. Nope. So it did it again. So let's see, how can we change the speed? I'm guessing this dial here is to change the speed. So I, turn, I tuned it all up all the way to slow and it's barely even moving wow barely moving so let me try to increase some more so I can <laughs> get this thing moving okay so this dial here changes the speed and there's an indicator on screen to tell you that I'm at 40% right now so let's see let's increase it to it only lets you get to 50%, it seems. So I'm at 50%. And this is how it's flying. That's the aileron there. 
This is forward pitch. Backwards pitch. Okay, so let's see. This button presses in. I wonder what that does. Okay, once you press the button in, it allows you to go farther. So it, it allowed me to go to 100% now. Let's see. So the yaw is still slow, but the pitch is become very, very fast, it looks like. Wow, so the pitch is very deep on it now. Man, I think I like this little option here. So let's try to bring it down. <laughs> kind of hard to bring it down though. It comes down very slow, even on this high rate here. Let's see, what do we have that way? Yeah, let me try to tune this down so you can turn down the pitch. That's awesome, you can adjust it. Wait, I went all the way to 50% that quick. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm able to turn the pitch down. So, I'm really liking the way that changes the speed and all. So you have to press it in to change the speed and then it stops. Wait a minute, so channel two. Okay, I understand what's going on. So you have to press the, the dial in to be able to input changes to the speed and then once you press it back in again, it locks to that speed that you're on. So pretty decent. I think I like it all the way up. Go all the way up with it again. Okay, so this is the funnels it can do. This thing is a really nice flyer. If it had a little more speed on a yaw, the funnels would be excellent. Maybe it would be able to spin around on one motor pod. But as of now, this is the best kind of funnel you're gonna be able to get. One thing about it though, it descends very slow. Let's test this other button out and see what that does. It says function switch over. Okay, I think that's the auto land button there. Let me press it again. Yep, as soon as you press it, it goes down to land. Let's see if that button makes it take off again. It started the motor spinning. Press it again, it stops. Okay, so that stops and starts the motors. So let's test headless mode before this thing dies. Looks like we're at LVC. Okay, it's in headless mode now. Headless mode seems to think that to my right is the heading. And it's working though. Man, this thing is a fast flyer. Okay, let's come out of headless mode. So headless mode works. And the lights are flashing. So we're in LVC. Let's see when it's gonna just auto land. Looks like it's trying to auto land now. It's going down. Going down. Let's see. Is it going to touch down? It's not touching down though. So let's pick it back up. It acts like it wanted to land, but it's a fast flyer, but when you fly it fast, it starts to climb and it descends very slow when you pull all the way down on the throttle stick. You can have zero throttle on the stick input and it'll descend very slow. Other than that, I like everything about it. It looks awesome. Flies really nice. Turns really quick and nimble. But the yaw is a little slow, but the deepness of the pitch compensates for it. Okay, it looks like it's landing now. It touched down. Let's 
feed. And the motors did stop on their own too. So pretty cool little quad here. The JJRC H50. Next time we'll uh, hopefully test out the camera and all. And please you guys come with 5.8 gigahertz FPV. It's better than Wi-Fi FPV. But that's the JJRC H50. It says chaser on the transmitter. Thanks for watching.